worked. What is the actuality as far as how close are those flames to the homes? Any burned? Uh, no homes have been burned. A lot of homes came close. Uh, over in the overnight hour down San Antonio Creek Road, the fire made a push down that canyon, and there were some homes that were threatened. Uh, uh, Montecito Fire, Carpinteria Summerlin Fire Department, Santa Barbara County, and Santa Barbara City saved some homes in that area as that fire pushed down that canyon, driven by those erratic winds, and uh, came within feet of several homes. Same thing off of Sinegitas Road. Uh, the Santa Barbara City Fire Department was uh, doing structure protection there, and they were assisted by L.A. County Fire Hawk. Uh, helicopter that made a water drop and uh, saved a home up on top of Cena Gitas as well. Wow. We're all thankful for the hard work that firefighters have been doing throughout the night and into the morning. Um, as you can see, we're on this two lane road here that is very windy, lots of um, signs to slow down your speed as you go up. How is the terrain and even the, the ability for firefighters to get up this hill affecting their ability to fight the fire? Well, the problem with the fire is it started on East Camino CLO and then it started marching its way down towards 154. There's really no real access between the two. We had to make our stand at 154 as it crossed down off uh, Via Chaparral and in the San Antonio Creek Road and down off Cena Gita. So that's where the firefighters made their stand and they did a good job of stopping those flames from advancing onto those homes. This area here, it's a lot of no man's land in between the road uh, on 154 as well as a uh, uh, Camino Cielo. So that's why that fire is just chewing through vegetation that hasn't burned in 30 years since the Painted Cave Fire in 1990. So this is old fuels that have been ready to burn for 30 years, which is probably the oldest fuel on the south coast since we've had uh, numerous fires uh, in between.